Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I want to welcome you guys to my first channel update video. Um, I'm going to be trying to do this periodically when certain things change in my life during YouTube, doing videos, when I get a new game, um, when I'm going to incorporate new games into some of my other gameplays. So, um, I don't want to hold you guys up too long. Um, let's jump straight into this video. All right, you guys, first things first. Um, I wanted to get out my schedule to you guys for the next few months. Um, two big things that a lot of people have been asking me. Do I use YouTube to live off of? Uh, no, I do not. Um, do I get paid for making videos? Yes, I do. Now, the thing is, I do have a regular job. I work at the Philadelphia International Airport. I've been working there for seven years. So the way that we bid, we bid certain days and then we partner up with somebody to actually get better days, um, more free time. So with this schedule that you're looking at, I have all four days out of the week. I only work three days, but out of two of those three days, I do doubles. So let me give you guys a little bit of background on when you'll get videos and how the wildcard situation is set up. Now, you can guarantee a video from me on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. That's a guarantee. That's four days out of a seven-day week. So that's four videos a week for me, guys. I hope that's enough. I I'm hope I'm doing enough for your sub boxes. Now, Wednesdays are a wild card because I do a double. But I do have off Tuesday, so I can actually edit up a video Tuesday night, upload it to YouTube, and schedule it to come out on Wednesdays. I can do that. I do have that option because I'm a partner with YouTube. But like I said, I do do doubles on that day. So sometimes I don't take my computer to work with me. Okay, I'm lying. I take my computer to work with me every day. But um, sometimes I don't have enough time to edit depending on how the flight schedules look that day. So Wednesdays and Saturdays are a big wild card. Or in, as in, if you may get a video from me or if you don't get a video from me. On um, Fridays, I do work Fridays, but that day is reserved for So You Think You Can Commentate. Every week, every Friday, you can definitely guarantee a So You Think You Can Commentate video from me on my channel from somebody that, you know, wants to open up a bigger stage. Now, I'll get more into So You Think You Can, you, so you think you can Commentate a little bit later, but the schedule that you're looking at on my days off, definitely expect a video from me. And on my days on, expect a wild card. But one thing I will say, if you want to keep updated on when I'll upload a video to YouTube or how my schedule is looking and stuff like that, you guys definitely want to go to my Facebook fan page and definitely like it, save it in your little subscribe panel, and definitely keep up with my updates. Now, let's move on to the next thing. All right, you guys, I hope you like that intro right there. That will be the newest intro for So You Think You Can Commentate for the rest of the remainder of this actual series. Um, this series will keep going on. I won't stop. I know a lot of people always ask me, iPod, I gave you my video about a month ago. Are you going to upload it? Have you stopped the series? I come out with So You Think You Can Commentate every Friday, and that's how it's going to be until the life of my channel. Now, the intro wasn't made by me. I know a lot of people thought that I make intros and logos and watermarks and backgrounds and all that. I don't do anything like that. All I do is make YouTube videos. But I do want to tell you who made this intro. This intro was made by Air Jones. His link will be in the description, but I'm going to tell you how to actually spell it. Because some people might just think, oh, Air Jones, let me search it on YouTube. You got to spell it A-I-I-R-X-J-O-N-E-S. That's how you spell um, Air Jones. It's actually Air X Jones, but you know, he wanted to freak it out, get his name out there, you know. But I do want to give you guys a little bit of his prices on what he makes, you know, logos and all that. Because he does the whole nine. He makes intros, outros, backgrounds, watermarks, logos. He does all of that. So let me give you his price list. Um, it's $5 for a logo or a watermark. It's $10 for a YouTube background non-partnership. For a partnership background, it's $15. That means you get the banner and everything like that at the top of your channel like mine. Also, for Twitter outros, this is this is like one of his best things ever. Like his Twitter outros are on a bean. They cost $20, but I'm telling you, with that Twitter outro, I guarantee you're going to get your followers up. It's that simple. Um, and for custom intros and outros and stuff like that, it's $40 and up depending, depending on quality and time that it takes to make the intro and what you want. Now, let me jump into So You Think You Can Commentate before, you know, I get I go over my time. Now, um, if you go to my channel on YouTube, you can see it's links on the right hand side of my channel that say learn how to apply for SYTYCC. 
and it's also links on how to um, download the description and how to get me the video so I'm telling you guys if you want to apply for so you think you can commentate all you got to do is go to my channel click the last three links in my link panel and and you're good from there um, how you get me the videos um, you have to send them to me by email only only email I don't I don't download it from YouTube I don't download unlisted videos you got to give me the video through Dropbox now the email is SYTYCC for the number IKC at gmail.com that's how you give me the videos for so you think you can commentate and also it's a time frame for these videos I get over 30 videos probably a month and within that month I may go through videos that don't meet the requirements that don't meet the quality yes I do have standards for the videos that I do upload it's not a standard on if you're a good commentator or not it's a standard on the video quality copyright and all of that so like I said, if you want to give me a video, you can definitely do that. It's a lot of people that hit me up on Twitter that, you know, tell me they're going to send me a video and they, they follow through. So like I said, man, if you want to apply for so you think you can commentate, definitely do. It's a great opportunity. Um, I think I'm like 34,000 subscribers strong. So just put it like this. If you want to get on a bigger stage, just come see me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm out here to help the community. This is what I'm doing, but let's move on to the next thing. All right, you guys, this is what a lot of y'all been waiting for. Y'all been waiting for my scoring small forward to come back to my channel. Um, the reason why I haven't been uploading that many small forward videos is because I actually wanted to get done each my player one by one instead of jumbling so many videos on my channel at a time. And the way you guys were asking for videos, like I tallied up a lot of different things. Like you guys wanted my PG videos, y'all wanted my small forward videos. Y'all want a UFC videos, y'all want a Saints Row videos, but the way the NBA playoffs was going on, I, I needed to make sure that I finished one my player as soon as the real NBA Finals finished, and that was my PG. So my small forward is coming back. I know y'all hear the music banging in the background. I know y'all want to hear that track. That track will be in the description. You can go to the SoundCloud. Definitely check it out. If you want to download it, I don't have a pro SoundCloud account, so I actually made a link on Mediafire that you could download the song, bump it, listen to it, do whatever you feel with it. But here's a little bit of preview of how Game 3 is going to start out. Welcome to Game 3, everyone. We're at 2-zip right now in the series. No panic, though, yet. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. We've got the Washington Wizards facing the New York Knicks. Taking a look at New York. They need the boost here from the hometown fans. Trailing 2 nothing. It is critical. Alright you guys, alright you guys, I showed y'all guys a little bit too much, I showed y'all too much, that video will be out Saturday, don't worry about it, I'm definitely hand it to y'all Saturday, let's move on to the next thing. Alright you guys, the next thing I want to jump into is my actual t-shirt website, once I get a new camcorder or webcam or some, some type of high def like pixel type camera like Duke the Killer, that bull camera is on a bean. I might I might even just buy the one he got. Um I gotta ask him about that. Remind me to do that y'all on Twitter. Remind me to hit up Duke the Killer about his camcorder. Now with these camcorders and stuff like that, the thing I want to do is I want to make vlog videos for channel updates. I don't necessarily want to put together so many different clips. I'd rather you guys see me like you're talking to me, like I'm talking to you. And then if I need to roll a clip, I'll roll a clip and then jump right back into my vlog. Now with the t-shirts, I have ones for my point guard and my center. I'm sorry I don't have um, t-shirts for my small four as of yet, but I am in talks with the person that made both of these images, and I will be getting a small four image soon. Most likely, under my small four, I might put stat sheet stuffer, and I also might get a new PG image that has Dom City under it. So I'm thinking about a lot of different things, and you know, I have a lot of ideas about new shirts and stuff like that. But as of right now, the, the website is just up and started. Um, I have kids t-shirts, women t-shirts, men's t-shirts, and I also have hooded um, sweatshirts for men. Um, I know you guys are probably looking at the prices. I'm not sure if these, these prices are a little bit too high or if they're cheap or if they're on the borderline. Let me know. Um, I've, I set up the webpage just, you know, just to set it up. I've ordered about 20 shirts. Um, the thing was, when I ordered shirts, um, I ordered lightweight first. Um, they didn't come out too well. Um, they were kind of thin, things like that. Then I came out with like regular, I think, uh, regular standard weight t-shirts and stuff like that. They still didn't come out well. So uh, then I ordered and changed it up to heavyweight. And that's what you can see with the men's t-shirts. So now the t-shirts that you guys will be buying, the t-shirts will be great quality. 
the images will be great quality so it won't be faded it won't be out of place trust me I critique the way this website out a lot I spent probably about $200 on this website ordering t-shirts but it's all good though it's all love but um, if you want to check out the website purchase a shirt hoodie or something like that just hop on the website a, a lot of people was also telling me that I should make buttons and stuff in bags I'm not sure if you guys have any ideas on what I should do with my spread shirt let me know I'll make it available for you guys but let's move on to the next thing all right you guys the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about are the frequently asked questions to me on a day-to-day -day basis um, I made up a web page on my tumblr it's a, a facts page um, what it has is all the stuff that people ask me all the time um, it has the people who made my background my banner my logo my watermark my intros um, the gaming accounts that I have the systems that I have the recording equipment that I have and the way I set it up um, my video and editing software it has all those questions on this one web page so if you have a question about what I record with which is a HD PVR it'll be in here if you want to know what type of TV I have it's in here if you want to know what type of laptop I have it's in here if you want to know all the banging programs that I brought paid for or got they're in here so definitely click the link in the description on my tumblr facts page and you'll get everything that you need to know about how, what you need to become a better commentator not how to become a better commentator but the actual materialistic things that you need like a better mic I have a Yeti so you know it, it's all in here guys <laughs> let's move on to the next thing alright you guys the next thing I want to talk to you about is my Facebook fan page where iPod King Carter happens um, basically on my Facebook fan page I upload photos of me my family um, the games that I upload that week different gameplay um, I also give out status updates when I'll be uploading videos to YouTube on um, what you can expect from me that week um, I, it's basically a big web page for me to update all my statuses and stuff like that so if you want to know anything about me on my day to day on what's going to be going on with me on YouTube and stuff like that like say um, I come out with a PG video and um, I take off for two days and then a lot of you people are sending me messages and you know Twitter statuses and saying hey iPod why haven't you uploaded the video well, if you were, you know, subscribed or liked or something, whatever, to my Facebook fan page, you would know that I would say um, I'm taking two days off, but definitely expect a video from me in two days, and it's going to be beast. Now, that right there is basically time for me to, you know, chill with the family, you know, do stuff with my son and stuff like that. Remember, guys, I'm a father, <laughs> you know, and I got to bring home the bacon. So sometimes it's, I don't have enough time to do certain things, but like I said, you guys, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, and what's going to be going on with me on YouTube, definitely um, like my Facebook fan page and definitely come hit me up. All right. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is my Twitter page. Um, now, on Twitter, that's where I'm always at. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I got an iPhone 4S and whenever I receive a Twitter update or, you know, a reply or a retweet or a mention or something like that it all comes to my phone and most of the time I'm in my phone so if you guys have like a little simple question that you want to ask me I guess under 160 characters um, send it to me on Twitter um, the thing is on my YouTube inbox it has been getting flooded with shared video responses and all of that for a while now and it's hard for me to decipher and you know pick through all the messages and get to you guys real messages that you have actual questions because um, I get spammed a lot and me I don't block people on YouTube so I just say hey, if you want to share me a video I might, I might take a look at it if it's good you know I might leave a comment like or whatever but for the most part my inbox is crazy so if you have a question, just hit me up on Twitter, man. That's where I'm always at. You can hit me up at iPod King Carter. I'm always there. Um, if if I don't get a reply, you don't have to, you know, send me the same message like four times. Trust me, I'm gonna get to your message. It's just that, you know, sometimes I might be doing something or you know like that. I remember, I'm 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 just a regular guy out here, guys. I'm not, you know, I'm not stuck into YouTube at all times. But you know, like I said, the updates do come to my phone. And I answer them accordingly. You know, um, one day I got put in Twitter jail because um, I had over like 100 mentions. So what I was doing was I was tweeting and I was uh, replying back. And one day I just got locked in Twitter jail. And I'm like, dang, what happened? And and people start hitting me back. And they was like, yo, what happened to iPod? It's like I disappeared for a few hours on Twitter. So some, sometimes that does happen. But for the most part, I do just get back the messages and everything is safe and sound. But let's move on to the next thing, y'all. 
Okay, last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about Game Face Studios. Game Face Studios is a YouTube community channel that I'm a part of. Me and Wise and Now started out the channel almost about a year ago. Well, it's not even almost about. It's over a year ago. We started out the channel. Um, we started out with a lot of small people, um, and we've been gradually getting new members. I just want to shout out to everybody that was previously in Game Face Studios, everybody that's currently in Game Face Studios, and I want to thank you all the subscribers that have come over to Game Face Studios, all 10,000 strong of y'all. Thanks for coming over and supporting the channel. Um, I do want to tell you guys, if you want to join Game Face Studios, there is kind of like a criteria stipulations on what you need to bring to your channel in order to get on Game Face Studios. Because remember, this is a YouTube community channel. This isn't something like Machinima Sports where you um, have to upload a video per week and, and we don't do any promotion for you guys and stuff like that. When you come to Game Face Studios, you're like family. Once you join, we hit, put you in a Skype chat. Um, you talk with the fellas, any ideas. Y'all go back and forth, hit each other up. And you come out with videos on Game Face Studios accordingly. If you want to um, promote your channel on a different channel, this is where to come. This is the biggest YouTube community channel that I currently know of. If anybody knows one bigger, let me know. Um, but for the most part, if you guys want to join, you got to message Game Face Studios on YouTube. And your messages will get answered back too. Um, what we do is we evaluate your channel, see what's going on with your channel, see if you're doing some of the right things that we do as a community channel and as members. And we let you know if you can be in there if you can. Also, we do have our eye on a lot of different people. We do go out scouting for different YouTubers. It's not like we just sit there and you know you just got to come in and say, hey, I want to be in. We actually go out, look at people videos uh, we keep a close eye on you know potential members and stuff like that so like I was saying um, if you want to join Game Face Studios definitely definitely um, hit up Game Face Studios on YouTube um, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video and as a little bonus clip check this out my point guard is not dead <laughs> I'm not gonna stop making videos with my point guard my point guard just won an NBA championship why wouldn't he go into a second season looking for another chip he got a chip on his back we, this is how we doing it. My athletic point guard is not going anywhere. Um, I saw in the comment section that a lot of people was hitting me up saying, Hey, Apa, what's next? Are you going to stop making videos with your point guard? Or are you going to make a new my player? I'm not doing any of that. I'm going to still be making videos with my athletic point guard. And I'm still going to be making videos with my scoring small forward. Nothing's going to change, you guys. You're still going to get this beast gameplay, nice commentaries. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is IKC signing out. And I'm going to see you guys on the next channel update. Peace.